guys um so today i just finished my midterms except for one because there was like a fire so there was an emergency they had to just reschedule one midterm which at least gives me another time to study but for the rest i thought i'll do a declutter with me since this was a highly requested video so i will start by writing the table of contents for each subject and write down all the lessons so when i go back to that um to that subject in the future i can see the lessons and just turn the page numbers and yeah let's start with that table of contents for each subject now i'm gonna start putting those page flags so so that it'll be easier to navigate to the lesson so let's begin <music> I just finished putting those page flags on each of my lessons and now they're really a rainbow so my notes now are more colorful and if you guys are wondering um i got these one two three four five five colors of page flags that are 100 pieces each i just got them from daiso japan for about a dollar and they are very sticky and it's very easy to remove so that means it won't leave a stain on your page which is nice and it's just really high quality for the price so it's really affordable and I recommend you getting this. So now um, I will be using some of my notes and take pictures for my Instagram since I didn't get to use some of the notes because I was really busy and trying to adjust for senior high school so this is a time to take pictures so that I can at least post something every week so let's get started <music> An hour or 45 minutes I've now finished taking photos for each of my lesson and to be honest it's tiring because I put put I did it in the last minute so it's like cramming so if you guys are wondering um, how do I take my Instagram photos this is my background at the moment I changed it and this is my bed sheet okay this is my bed sheet because I couldn't afford getting a nice white table. So I just use my bed sheet since it has small flower prints which are pretty and it's white. So when I edit my photos, it looks nicer. And I've been receiving messages that people actually read my notes, which I didn't expect at all since you guys just need to look at it or read the code but like at least you guys can learn something today when you read my notes since I try to make them really clear but if you do find something interesting you can just comment it down below or just DM me yeah so after this it's time to hole punch my notes so my notes are hole punched in 26 holes but sadly they do not fit my 3 ring binder so that means I have to hole punch them again so we're gonna start hole punching them to stir them in my binder and even though it's hole punch in my binder it can still fit in my b526 ring notebook binder without any problems so let's get to it <laughs> Ok, 
Okay, so I've done um, hole punching on my notes and this is how they look like. So it looks pretty much the same except you can see that there are bigger holes to accommodate the three hole the three hole ring binder that I have and I just use a simple three hole puncher. So I'll show you that it's still the same. Okay. Okay, so when I need to refer back to my notes, um, I like that I can use this binder again because, um, look, I can still flip the pages and it can fit on my B5 binder and my three ring binder. So as you can see, that's these um, three holes. They're bigger because that's going to be the place where I'm going to snap the notebook paper into the three holding binder so next i am gonna make labels for each of the binder since i haven't started that so basically my binder will consist of a part for my notes part for practice exercises um and that will also have the homework part no practice exercises and then i will have the test part and that will also have the homework. So if I have any like index cards to put like this. By the way, um, this the the paper or the thing that I will use to draw, put my labels is this hard card stuck since I had it two years ago from my arts class. So this is just a spare and I don't know what to do with it. And since it's hard, I might as well start using it. So. Yeah, that's just a quick update. just finished um doing those like divider stuff so for each subject i have a divider for the title of the subject itself um one page for notes one page for practice exercise which only applies to calc since we don't do any worksheets in any other subject and then another divider for test for every subject 
so I just designed it in any way. Um, I mostly like went on YouTube and searched for like Bujo header ideas since they're really nice and very simple to make. So now for the major decluttering part is decluttering my bag with all those test papers and finally organizing it to the folders. So just a heads up, the angle here might, might not be that good since some files contain um, personal documents like the name of my school and of course as a privacy i don't want you guys to know where i go to school so i'll just put it on an angle where you cannot see it which is a very bad angle but anyway let's get on with it just finished organizing all my folders and decluttering my bag and boy i have so many trash right now to recycle so that's mostly papers just shoved in my bag uh, it's so dirty um so how i file my practice exercises and test papers so Basically, I will just use clear pockets if there's a lot of practice exercises or I have to put index cards. So, um, let me show you. Wait, just a minute. Okay. Not. Um, so, at the notes, like entrance, uh, this would be the storage of all the index cards that I use for chapter summary and for exercises since I have all my names there um, Exercises will just also go on this size. So this is just a You know a normal bond paper size 9 by 11 inches and since my test papers are legal bond which is bigger or longer than the normal bond paper i would get also a bigger clear pocket the legal size also so that it can fit in but the problem is um most binders are not legal size so they tend to like you know protrude out so this, this is an example so it will just bend but at least it will protect the papers so i don't do this for every subject i only do it if i have a lot of test papers if there's just one or two I would maybe just, um, I would maybe just hole punched it and just put it in since it's just too little and it would be just a waste of a clear pocket. So, this is my declutter with me. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and it motivated you to at least declutter some of your things. And I'll see you in my next video.